Hey, how are you? Guillaume here from Alliance Montreal. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been really complicated with uh, COVID and everything. Um, I have roommates, construction outside my door. So it's been a bit complicated. So I finally found time to, uh, to, to be able to record another video and uh, also do it legally because uh, <laughs> we finally are able to train for real so it, it's it, it's really nice <laughs> so today I just want to go over the, the best way for me to be able to learn when I train and especially when you you go and you start teaching you'll m mostly be with people that are your students right so that are uh, lower belts usually and um, so less technical and in a lot of cases, um, lighter than you. I'm, I'm maybe I fight at 170, 168, 170. So I'm in the middle uh, weight category. So um, I get people that are lighter a lot of time. So in this case, uh, I'm uh, going to be rolling with. Uh, let's start it. I'm, I'm going to. Um, be rolling with uh, really good I'm rolling with a really good uh, blue belt that used to do MMA and uh, everything but he's much lighter and obviously I'm, I'm more experienced than him so as you see my goal here is learning and letting the other person train too so I'm really trying to look for uh, for opportunities to really um, use technique um, and I'm going to use the same technique over and over if it doesn't work right I'm going to fail until it works here I just try something uh, and then I saw the that he was going for a camera and I let him go for it right I could have just smashed it first and like not allowed him to try but I much rather let him try and um, try to kind of defend it right because um, right now, obviously, I can just like uh, see the movement in advance and um, just smash it at the source. But uh, it's not necessarily a good. It's not going to be realistic against like people my uh, skill level. They'll they'll catch me in some things, and I need to learn how to uh, go about it. So here, I just like uh, float. Over him, I go for maybe an arm bar. I look at the arm bar, it doesn't succeed. I didn't get it right, so I just like dismount, and I'm able to dismount in this case um, in uh, north south. And from there, I just go for the submission, right? And so uh, it's not about not trying to submit the other person, it's not about like giving chances but it's about allowing them to work because them working makes you work in exchange and so like I have to let them establish their game I have to let them react to my game right if I go too fast then what's the point if they can't react then it's not realistic here I go for a slow butterfly sweep, he defends by backing up, I just follow and I'm able to chain it with this uh, quick knee, knee cut pass to mount and I saw that he had his arm inside so I just went for the uh, mounted triangle and finished it, right? So just like kind of try to, uh, um, try to chain movements together in such a way that it, it allows me uh, to practice. For example, I, what I'm really trying to practice, usually it's um, obviously techniques, right? So more efficient techniques, but also I'm trying to practice chaining movements in an efficient way without too much wasted movements and also never uh, stopping to work, right? Um, and in this case, the, the, the best way to not stop working is not go fast, 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 is to keep a certain tension within the role where there's always um, danger, okay? So in this case, like I was trying to go mount, but he was 
he was really pushing on my leg and he was really trying to escape by uh, turning. So I was just like, okay, let me grab your back. And from there, I grab his back. I try to attack. I go slow. I try to grab the collar. It doesn't work. I try to finish with the bow and arrow. It's not going to work. I just try to uh, transition to uh, kind of a bulldog choke. I try to change the angle. I work the angle. You'll see like I'll go under the armpit probably. Just I'm going to be trying to put pressure sideways. Try to uh, go low. Doesn't work. I, I feel like I'm losing it. So I'm going to go back and like try to go back to bow and arrow. And maybe I could have like cranked it and finished it, right? But I'm just trying to keep that pressure and that tension and and I, I was not able to finish it he was able to defend let him defend try to try to see how you can uh, transition from that defense because again people your level are going to be able to defend right and so you have to you have to just flow with that without giving them ch like free chances right um, it's not like oh I got you but I'm just going to let you go in, in here, I let him, I let him uh, establish his guard, and then boom, uh, I let him establish his guard. But he gives me like I just roll for the 50/50. Here, I was able to get a, a heel hook. Now um, I'm not going to finish it. I was just, I just grabbed the heel, and uh, it was fine. Like I didn't need to finish it. I knew I had it, so I just switched to kind of like a clover. I'm not a big leg lock guy, but I still try to practice them. And so I just try to clover. It doesn't really work. I think it's clover, like uh, when the, the person's like uh, foot is underneath their like leg. And so it doesn't work. So I just switch and I, I just said, okay, I'll go, I'll go and I'll pass the 50-50. I saw an opportunity maybe to arm bar the guy, but I lost it. So what did I do? Oh, well, I switched to the back and grab the back. I try to stay tight, 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 try to finish it, right? I'm trying to f always finish my moves without mm, without forcing it, right? And so if I can get it, I'll get it. So in this case, I'm really tight, I stay close. And I try to find ways to um, wedge myself, right? Create wedges um, and then I'm done. So yeah, I try to just um, try to find ways to create wedges to to be able to control the other person without forcing it, right? So if I feel like um, I'm struggling to control the other person, then it's because I'm not doing it correctly. Um, if I um, if I have to really put the person down, then it's my problem, right? Against somebody that's lighter than me that's uh, less technical, there's no reason for me to have to use um, way too much strength, right? And so I really have to uh, make sure that um, my technique is perfect. I have, I have no excuses, right? Um, I'm stronger, I'm more technical, there's no excuse for my technique not working. And so if it's not working, then it's a problem with me. I need to adjust my technique, I need to, I need to make sure it's better. I need to see um, reasons why it's not working. Uh, why am I not able to control? Why am I not able to smash? Why am I not able to kind of um, take uh, take the lead in the, the the role, right? And without upping the intensity, I need to up the the con the control, right? Um, and yeah, so that's how I think you should approach a role when you roll with a lower belt, a lighter person, especially girls. Uh, there's no reason for that like uh, ego to come in to play, right? Mm. And I think ego is important, but it should be an ego of learning, right? It's, it's not, oh, I'm losing. Oh, it's more like, oh, I'm not learning right now. I need to do something to learn. So it's really important, I think, to, to take all the opportunities
to learn and not just lay either lay flat on your back and just do nothing because the other person is not good enough to to threaten you or just like fucking smash and just go and go 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 and not let the other person play their game or like threaten you right so yeah so it's been a while since i've uh, done this talking alone is a bit weird again and but hopefully um i come back uh strong and um now that jiu-jitsu is back uh, in montreal uh, legally then it means like i can just do this without uh without being scared of anything happening right so um hopefully my goal here is to continue training 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 hopefully i can do um the uh, ADCC trials in November, if I'm correct. Um, it would be really, really cool. It's a bit um, un uncertain with the COVID and the fact that I have to, uh, well, I have to, I'm very glad I can uh, be on a gym and uh, teach, but I still have to uh, make sure I'm everything's safe and I can take like a, a week off or something. So yeah, that's my goal and uh, I'll hopefully continue doing uh, videos for you guys. Alright, see you next time. Ciao.